I know it's been a long time since I've, you know, it's not that I didn't want to, it's just that I've been really busy, spending some time with the wife, teaching the kid how to play StarCraft, making my videos. Yeah, videos. Oh, no, 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 not those kind of videos. Oh, you want to make one of those kind of videos with me? Oh, you're pretty dirty, aren't you? Ooh, yeah, you are. What's up, everyone? Eric here, and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. Today, I'm going to be doing a deep cleaning of my own editing rig. I haven't cleaned it since I built it, and that was about 17 months ago. Now, the thing is, I also removed all the dust filters to increase airflow, so I think this is going to be pretty nasty. I'm especially concerned about the PSU because the whole case or system is inverted, so the power supply is on top with all the dust kind of going down into the fa like it looks pretty bad from what i've seen so cringe alert and i'm gonna have to do this pretty quickly because this is the system i'm going to actually be editing this video on so i guess i should just get to it so yeah that's um a pretty good thick layer of dust there that was from underneath the case. So if that's underneath the case, what does the inside of the case look like? I'm not exactly sure how well the camera's picking that up, but there's big chunks of dust all around the uh, holes there. So yeah, that power supply does not look clean. Okay, I guess set this out right. Okay, I'll be clear. Uh, okay, um, yeah, that that's um pretty bad. Wow, I'm like the CPU cooler, the front of the case, and the power supply are quite disgusting. Um. So I'm, I guess, gonna clean everything a little bit better. Uh, most of it I'm just gonna blow off. I guess I'm gonna like wipe crap down with some alcohol and stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is actually replace the fans. This is one of the main reasons why I'm doing this because these fans are quite loud and they're starting to get a little irritating. So I'm going to replace them with, um, the ones on the CPU cooler I'm gonna replace with some Arctic P12s. And then the case fans, I'm going to, well, I guess the 120 millimeter fans, I'm going to replace with some F12s. And then the 200 millimeter on the front, I'm going to <clears throat> put the stock, uh, stock fan on there. So hopefully this thing's quiet. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all the LEDs and RGBs and just have it be a simple case type thing.
So as you can see, everything is back up and running and everything is pretty much a-okay. All the drives are detected and I didn't break anything, which is always a bonus when having to take everything apart. Uh, the GPU and CPU temperatures, well the GPU temperatures are pretty much the exact same as they were because the GPU wasn't really all that dirty. Uh, the CPU temperature is lower by like 3 or 4 Celsius in just an idle state. I haven't really fully tested anything. Now I switched out the fans from the from these uh, pretty crappy up here ARGB 120 mil fans to the uh, P12s from Arctic, which are very nice fans. They're well priced, they perform very well, um, much better than these. So like the CPU temperature is at idle at least about four Celsius lower. Now that is with a cleaning and with new thermal paste. So I didn't actually take proper testing of what the temperatures were before and after. Uh, with these, I was hitting something in around uh, 78 Celsius uh, with the P12s with the repasting and everything like that. I'm more in around the 65 Celsius. So there is a pretty substantial drop in CPU temperatures. Now I'm not sure how much of that is just sheer fans and how much of that is the new thermal paste and cleaning. What I was really wanting to do with switching out the fans was try to keep at idle at least the system to be silent uh, so that I could actually just have it running on in the background when I'm doing noise tests. But because of the fan for the PSU, that's not happening. The system fans are really quite quiet, but the, P the fan in the PSU is by far the loudest thing in the system at idle. So that's something I'm gonna have to look at and look into is getting a zero RPM PSU or power supply. Don't have any of the RGB anymore, which I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I never really cared about it. So I just thought it was Kind of weird looking some of the rgbs didn't quite line up color wise so that was actually irritating me i think that's really about it i don't know what else to say uh other than like clean your pcs every once in a while because they get pretty dirty pretty quickly it was actually much more disgusting than i was expecting it to be the behind the front panel area and the power supply were both quite disgusting so just yeah Clean your PCs, uh, get a blower or whatever air compressed air and just kind of shoot it out every, I don't know, four to six months and you should be fine. Just don't do what I did and wait a year and a half because it gets pretty disgusting. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.